Shalom Aleichem, now I'll have viewers. Welcome to another Shir in Masechus Brachas. Today's Shir is dedicated to Lili Nishmas Rachelei Abbas Rechaim Tzvi. We're continuing with the Gemara Brachas on Daf Tazayin Amr Aleph. We were still really involved in discussing the Mishnah on Daf Tazayin Amr Aleph, the second half of the Mishnah. The Mishnah begins in the second din of the Mishnah. The Mishnah tells us, Chasen Potter Mikriyishma Laila Rishayna Vaad Matzei Shabbos and Loy Asa Maisa that a chasen, a groom, who gets married on the night of his wedding, he is exempt from reciting Kriyishma since he has at the time another obligation, the obligation of Bias Mitzvah, of having the first time relations with his wife. He is exempt from reciting Shema from the night of his marriage. Until Matzai Shabbos, the Mishnah is assuming that a person gets married, as they did in the time of Chazal on Wednesday. So he has a few days. If he hasn't yet had Bia Rishayna, he's potter from Kriyashma. In Loyosa Maisa, if he hadn't had yet Bia. Umaisa Bereb Gamliel. The Mishnah goes on to say, though, Umaisa Bereb Gamliel, the story occurred that Rebbe Gamliel, Shenosa Isha Vikara Laila Rishayna. Rabbi Gamliel got married, and on the night of his wedding, he recited Kriyashma. Omuloi Talmidov, his students asked him, Limaditonu Rabbeinu shechosen potem Kriyashma. Didn't you teach us that a chosen is exempt from Shem? The Kiva Rabbi Gamliel responded, Eini sheimei alochem levatelei meni malchus shomayim afilu shoachas. I would not listen to you, and I do not accept what you are suggesting, because that would mean that I would neglect to accept upon myself the yoke of Kabbalah Salmach Shamaim of recognizing Hashem's oneness and the unity of Hashem, the chiv of mitzvahs, the responsibility to keep the mitzvahs. I don't want to neglect to perform this mitzvah of Kabbalah Salmach Shamaim for even one minute. And therefore, Ibn Leo went ahead and he recited the Shema the night of his wedding. Taisvis indira maschil maisa begamliel shenasa isha v'kara kriyish ma belayla rishayna Taisvis writes lav maisa listarhu. This is not considered a story that's being quoted by the Mishnah to contradict the prior ruling that a chasen is exempt from shema. To kamash malon, the Mishnah is teaching us. Im gadolhu by teach ba'atzmai sheyuchal lehiskava, and that if a person is a great tzaddik, a great talmud chacham, and he's confident that he will be able to recite the Shema with the proper intention, v'hu roi litoy les Hashem, and he is an individual who can assume that madrega. He is a person who can act on this higher level. Harishus biyadai, he has the permission to go ahead and recite the Shema, and therefore Rebbe Gamliel, who went ahead and recited the Shema, even though he was exempt because it was the night of his wedding, in fact was permitted to do so, and that's the Chiddush of our Mishnah. The Gemara, if we look further down to two dots on the bottom of Daf Tezayin and Aleph, the Gemara discusses some of the background behind this halacha that a chosan is exempt from Kriyishma. The Gemara states as follows, Ton Rabbonon. We learned in a Bryce, so we had this Gemara really earlier in Brachos and Daf Yudal. Ton Rabbonon, says the Gemara, we learned in a Bryce, B'shiftich HaBebei Secha Prat L'Oisik B'Mitzvah. The Pasuk says, you should say these words when you're sitting in your house. So why does the Torah mention when you're, sa- when you're sitting in your house you have a requirement to recite these words? Says the Gemara, That phrase excludes an individual who's engaged at, with a performance of another mitzvah that he's exempt from reciting the words of Shema. From the words, says the Gemara, Prat lechasem. We learn now an exclusion that a chasen is exempt from reciting the Shema. 
Says the Gemara, Mikan Amru. From here we learned, Hakoinis is Absula Potter, the Esal Monochayiv, that a person who marries an unmarried woman, she's getting married for the first time, he's exempt from Krishna. The Esal Monochayiv. But if he marries an Almana, then he is obligated in reciting the Shema. Says the Gemara, my Mashma, from where do we derive that there is such a halacha of, of, uh, that a person who's reciting, who's Isaac for Mitzvah, Potter, from reciting the Kriyashma. And there's a heter of Isaac for mitzvah that if you're involved in another mitzvah, you're exempt from Shema. Says the Gemara, Amarav Papa Kiderech. 